Although they may seem like a mythical creature, akin to a unicorn, the narwhal is a real whale that lives in the Arctic Ocean near Canada and Greenland. They're related to belugas and have a long, straight, spiral tusk that is actually one of their left canine teeth protruding from their lip. Like belugas, narwhals don't have a dorsal fin. They reach a length of about 13 to 18 feet without their tusk. Males have a single tusk that projects from the left side of their upper jaw. It grows throughout their life and reaches lengths of about 5 to 10 feet. The tusk is hollow and light, and some males even have two tusks as seen in the skull. This happens rarely when the right canine tooth also grows out through their lip like their left. The tusk is believed to possibly determine social rank, or used to attract a mate. They have rarely been seen using their tusks for fighting or breaking sea ice. Narwhals can dive to great depths and feed upon benthic organisms, including fish, cuttlefish, squid, and shrimp. They can utilize sound in the melon on their forehead to explore their surroundings and hunt for food. Their lifespan can be quite long, possibly up to 90 years. Predators of narwhals include orcas, as well as polar bears, which will sometimes try to target younger narwhals at breathing holes or scavenge carcasses on the shore. Currently, about 70,000 narwhals are believed to exist, but their population is threatened by climate change and decreasing sea ice. Inuit Native Americans have hunted narwhals for over a thousand years and continue to do so today. Their meat and ivory tusks are both harvested, the tusks being used for elaborate carvings. This tusk was used as a lance weapon with an iron blade. European explorers in the 16th century most likely conjured some of their images of sea monsters from sightings of narwhals, like this drawing of a monster with a single horn protruding from its head. Their tusks fetched a high price through the 17th century, being sold as unicorn horns. In the 18th century, scientific representations of the narwhal were drawn like this one from 1746. This next image comes from a natural history book from 1760, while a more accurate depiction is made in this 1820 drawing. This 18th century engraving by William Hogarth shows a narwhal tusk as a phallic symbol hanging near the ceiling of a doctor's office as a patient seeks a cure for syphilis. Tusks were used for walking canes into the 19th century, and this late 19th century makeup dresser and chair at Maymont Mansion in Richmond, Virginia, utilizes narwhal tusks in its design. Because of their association with unicorns and their unique tusks, narwhals have gained a lot of attention in popular culture. Several cartoons have appeared on YouTube, such as a battle between narwhals and unicorns, or the viral narwhal song complete with animation. There are even narwhal hats and action figures. One toy, the Avenging Narwhal Playset, allows a user to impale smaller animals like a penguin, baby seal, or koala bear with a narwhal's tusk. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out another episode of Focus on Species right here. Thanks for watching.